Savitri, page 159. To be what she was not inflamed her hope. She turned her dream towards some high unknown. A breath was felt below of one supreme. An opening looked up to spheres above and colored shadows limbed on mortal ground, the passing figures of immortal things. A quick celestial flash could sometimes come. The illumined soul ray fell on heart and flesh and touched with semblances of ideal light, the stuff of which our earthly dreams are made. A fragile human love that could not last. Ego's moth wings to lift the seraph soul appeared, a surface glamour of brief date extinguished by a scanty breath of time. Joy that forget mortality for a while came, a rare visitor who left bedtimes and made all things seem beautiful for an hour. Hopes that soon fade to drab realities and patience that crumble to ashes while they blaze. Kindle the common earth with their brief flame. A creature insignificant and small visited, uplifted by an unknown power. Man labored on his little patch of earth for means to last, to enjoy to suffer and die, a spirit that perished not with the body and breath, was there like a shadow of the unmanifest, and stood behind the little personal form, but claimed not yet this earthly embodiment. Ascending to nature's long, slow-moving toil, watching the works of his own ignorance, unknown, unfelt, the mighty witness lives, and nothing shows the glory that is here. A wisdom governing the mystic world, a silence listening to the cry of life, it sees the hurrying crowd of moments stream towards a still greatness of a distant hover.